In today's video, I'll be showing you how to clip using OBS Studio. I mentioned in my OBS settings video, go check it out if you haven't, that I'd make this tutorial if requested, and I've received a few requests. In my opinion, OBS Studio is superior to GeForce for clipping due to its better performance and convenience. It also demonstrates how to make OBS start with Windows, a feature not many people know about. Let's get started. First, open OBS Studio. Head to the settings, go to the Output tab, select Advanced and enable the Replay Buffer. Set the maximum replay time to your preferred duration. I use 50 seconds if you're using the CQP rate control. You don't need to change the maximum memory. Apply the changes and you'll see a Replay Buffer icon. Next, go to the Hotkeys section and assign a key for Save Replay. I use Ctrl plus F, but you can choose any key. That's it. Now you can start the replay buffer and use the hotkey to save clips to your specified output folder. To make OBS Studio start with Windows, first stop the replay buffer and close OBS. Right-click the OBS Studio shortcut in your desktop. Select Properties and in the Target field, add Start Replay Buffer. At the end, click Apply and OK. This ensures OBS will start the replay buffer automatically when launched. To have OBS launch with Windows, press Windows plus R, type Shell, Common Startup, and hit OK. This opens the Startup folder. Drag the customized OBS shortcut into this folder. Now OBS Studio will automatically start with a replay buffer when you turn on your PC. And that's how you clip with OBS Studio. Similar to GeForce but running in the background. Ready to clip whenever you hit your hotkey. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. It's a simple process that could have been included in my OBS settings video. But here it is in detail. Thanks for watching and peace out.